What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Troy, ATXRC Productions, uh, 3DR Solo Productions and Owners, all that jazz. Talking solo, you guys, I just uploaded the maintenance uh, video, the first of the series on pre-flight checks as well as just overall maintenance and how to maintain solo. Um, in doing so, I noted a lot of the screw issues that I had. Not a lot. I mean, there's really only one. Its name is Philip. Yeah, Philip. It's for you, buddy. Um, the LDE. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. These use a Phillip head driver. It's a standard American style driver, cross pattern, whatever you want to call it. It's called Phillips head here. These things are horrible. You can't get in at specific angles. You can only really actually get in the right way, one way. I can't come in this way. Well, I can, and I can kind of get it to turn, but that's going to strip it. And then I'm going to see a post on Facebook of how do I get my strip solo screw out. They suck. Okay, Phillips head sucks. Sorry. Philip Rouse, awesome. Helped design or did design solo. Philip Screws, suck big balls. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, sorry that they used them in there. I will say a couple of things. They did some great stuff. They put some thread lock on there. That's awesome. That being said, things you need when you replace your screws, blue thread lock. I like the paste on my really large bolts and screws, but I actually like the liquid uh, gel on, on my smaller stuff. Always shake your thread lock. Make sure it's all nice and stirred up. Bang it around if you have to. Put a very gen very minimal amount. It only takes a little bit on the tip is the best way. As you insert it, it kind of spreads around through the threads all the way up the screw is how I like to do it. What you're going to do, and it's very simple, and I'll be honest, I shot this video and apparently I didn't actually hit record, so you're just going to have to do it the way that I tell you. It's not hard, guys. It's unscrewing screws. Use your Phillips screwdriver and take out the leg screws one at a time. Replace one at a time, and I chose to use my Team K and K big bag of hardware, which is something I have for my ground RC stuff. It's a huge bag with hundreds of screws and washers and bolts, uh, stainless, all kinds, and it's all in three. So I went with the two different styles that you can choose from are going to be a button head or a cap head. Button head has a nice curved button top to it. It's the same one that you pulled out was a button head. I chose to use a cap head on the landing gear side. And the reason I did is the extra depth and size of the hex drive itself. First of all, the cap head being it both M3, which is a metric 3 mil hardware, which is a metric thread and 3 millimeter in diameter, and both being 10 millimeters long from the bottom of the fastener head to the tip, you can see the difference, or no, you can't see. The overall difference is the cap head is much larger in surface area and contact patch with the driver. I chose this specifically for the legs because if you'll remember <clears throat> when I was trying to get the legs off in the maintenance video, I noted that this one here is really horribly hard to get with a Phillips screwdriver. And the reason is the Phillips driver has to be at an angle and Phillips screws don't like an angle. So trying to get to this screw and then trying to get to this motor screw, which we'll get into in a minute, which was even worse. I had to have either a very short screwdriver or I had to go at an angle and it really didn't do very well for the screw. I didn't strip them, but I was really careful. So for that reason, I wanted more, the ability to capture more um, surface area of the driver bit. So that's why I chose those on the landing gear. Plus they're nice and big and thick and they kind of stand out and they look good on the gear. So remove one screw at a time, take one of your cap heads, Put your thread lock on it, just a drop. Wipe any excess. If it's a lot and it's goopy, don't put it on there. It's going to go everywhere and dry and look horrible. Put it in one at a time. Screw it back down decently tight, about 95%. Back the second one out, put it in. Back that one down 100%. Then go back to this and go 100. Then just like any other, check the last one. It's always look left, look right, look left, right? So not right again, but left, right, left. So 
One, two, one, two. If you really like me and you just got to double check, triple check the last one. Um, so that'll do your landing gear. It takes eight screws. It took three minutes to pop eight screws out, drop eight more in. Done. Pop off your lens for your LEDs, which goes to your motor pod. And you'll see that I have changed these four screws as well. These four screws, same screw, same size, same head, horrible Phillips M3 by 10. I replaced it with a stainless steel M3 by 10. It's the exact same screw, different driver to, uh, driver head. Driver head on this one is a 2.5 mil. Um, I'm sorry, no, uh, two mil. Two mil driver for these cap heads. Or button heads, I'm sorry, button heads. Horrible about that. So four button heads in each motor pod times four is 16, eight on the other ones, boom, done. 24 M10, I mean M3 by 10 millimeter screws and you can now have heck to drive on all the major components that you are gonna tackle on a, every couple of day basis or every couple of weeks or whenever. Um, I would much rather have these out in the field than this. Just saying, I have these all over the place because all my quads use them. I don't have these, and if it's the wrong one or it strips, I'm screwed. So, hex hardware, it's where it's at. 3DR, can we just go ahead and go to this in V2? And I don't mean V2 is in Solo 2 or any real major changes. I just mean, can you just contact them and just say, let's start putting hex hardware in? It would be much, much, much better. Uh, makes me feel much better too while it's in the air. I don't know why it just does. Guys, this being said, this does not void warranty. I promise you. I did check with the LDE, Philip. He said, and I quote, sorry, Philip, I got to quote you. I'll, it's not quoted because I'm not reading it verbatim. He said, basically, look, 3DR will cover your warranty. I mean, they can't prove you changed the screws, but if a motor pod falls out or vibrates free or comes un unplugged because you took the motor pod out to change the screws and didn't check it, that is on you so just be careful be smart this isn't rocket science but it is quadcopter science all right um you're putting this thing in the air it's worth a lot of money you spent a lot of time trying to wait for it and get it i mean be safe okay maintain it check your bearings feel everything put new hardware on it if you want for me it makes me be better and have better peace of mind i will be buying two new pods they're about 60 bucks a pop when they're available um just to have um, as we get deeper into Solo, if there's ever a need to open this thing up, which there hasn't been yet, um, I will get into whatever screw sizes go on the other ones. So for now, 24 M3 by, M3 by 10 mil. Uh, I use eight cap heads, 16 button heads. That's just my preference. Uh, Y'all have a great day, guys. Fly safe, fly smart, fly 3DR. Peace. Peace. Oh, my God.